Hello everyone and welcome to the final week of matches in this season's Grand Arena. So this video is the first setup video for our first match um, in this last of the 3v3 which I am very 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 excited to finally get out of the way. Um, I'm not really enjoyed this season, uh, I'm not a big fan of 3v3 as it is. So yeah, um, we are we are finally at the end. Um, we have the worst group out of all the weeks so far, though. Uh, um, this group of opponents is ridiculous. The levels of the account is stupid. So this is our first opponent anyway. This is YY10. Um, and yeah, he is he has a very good roster. We couldn't find anything online, though. He doesn't have an online profile. But as you can see from his arena fleet, um, and his current lifetime score, he is a lot more advanced than our account is. His lifetime score being over 240k, which is near enough 100k more than ours. He has a lot of experience. He has some relics. But statistically, he's never hit Kyber in Division 6, which I find odd because we have on our last two occasions. Um, it's a bit of an odd one, but we are optimistic. Uh, I will show you his squads that he will use. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, he has a lot more relics than us. He has more Zetas. I think it was about six more Zetas than us. Uh, gear 12s were around the same, but he's played it a lot longer. His account's very efficient. He slow burns his GP up, clearly. Um, and as you can see from the top, the, he has a Relic 7 Anakin and a Relic 7 Vader. So the first teams we're going to show you that we think he's going to have on his offense is the Galactic Republic. So I think with these, he's going to use the first six that you see and split them, essentially. Um, there's also the potential for him to use them on a solo approach. So I, I can see him think, thinking and being like, right, I'm going to use Anakin to solo a, a three-man team, just do his AoE, and hopefully it clears him. So we can see that, but it, I think we, with our plan, we're going to try and split that up and try and make him use three at once. So I think he, if he split them up, it would be like a Padme lead with uh, Ahsoka and maybe R2, and then he might have a Kenobi lead with Anakin C-3PO. But we, we want to try and cut out these single attacks. Um, or if he does do single attacks, we want him to do them on the wrong teams um, and make him wish that he could go back and uh, go back and essentially um, use that against a stronger team. So our plan is going to be kind of to be not too strong on the front, a bit strong, but we are going to put our strongest defence team in the back, uh, hide them away, hopefully bait him into using some strong composition teams and get him out of it so the next worry is this empire squad um it's very strong relic 7 vader it isn't too fast though it is about 220 speed around that i think it's 223 um it's built for offense uh, i think he's going to team this up with the what tam Vor that uh, i'll show you later it's nothing it is it is scary because it does a lot of damage but at the same time I'm not too scared because I it's a guaranteed offense when I we already know that and we're going to try and just bait him like like we said in the last one we're going to try and bait him into using it the thrawn is my big worry it's 309 speed which is faster than anything I've got and it's also faster than my uh, what tambo the stark as well nearly 300 the general veers is 219 he's the slowest and that's still quite fast and then the pyre is over 264 these are the ones i'm worried about that he's going to put on defense which there is a high possibility i'm hoping he doesn't i'm hoping he uses these for offense but uh, if they're on defense we're gonna struggle uh, especially against them speed stats and we'll have to come up with a tactic but we are planning that he's going to use them on offense um and yeah, I the throne is my big worry because it can go before my Wat Tambor. My Wat Tambor didn't get the Zeta until after um, we were locked into this round. So my Wat Tambor with the speed boost because it's not Zeta is only three oh four for the first turn. So obviously we are just short of throne, and throne will go before us. That is a worry. So that Palpatine that you've just seen as well, I think he'll be on offense as well, probably teamed up with this Darth Sidious that he's got a gear 10 Sidious with Zeta. It's nothing special. Um, it's clear though he's going for super, uh, what's it called Sith Eternal Emperor. That's where he's building towards. Uh, he's still got quite a way to go. I think he's still missing quite a few parts of it. But the next ones we're going to look at anyway are the rest of this. Uh, what we think now is probably his defense which will be, I think, yeah, clicked on Geo, it's a little separatist we need to look at, which will be a Geo team 
um, teamed up with obviously two of the other geos, um, Brood as the lead, and then the Grievous with the other two as well. That Wat Tambor at the end will definitely, definitely be used for offense. It's quite fast as well, so yeah, that's his offense. But we think that the geos with uh, with the Grievous as well, they'll be his main defense. That's what we're that's what we're kind of banking on. the The worry is that it's going to be Imperial Troopers, but I think the um, the geos are a surefire way of basically definitely being on defense everyone uses geos on defense uh, we've even been converted now to start using them on our defense they're a good team they have good synergy the other teams that we're going to use that well they're going to use i think is these little fuckers uh the ewoks he has five of them done up i think he might potentially put an ewok scout but i don't see it i think he's going to split these into two teams and he'll put in a third random um, tune that he's got that's quite high. High. Uh, he hasn't got like a Emphis Nest or anything like that to worry about. Uh, the other team that I think for defense will be these Bowie Hunters. Uh, the Bosk lead is on his uh, leadership as well with the Zeta. So that with the IG88 and Boba Fett, that's definitely going to be another defensive team. I don't see that being an offense team at all. And then the last one that we've scouted out is this First Order. Again, this isn't a good team. He's put a Zeta on Kylo Ren for his leadership, but it's not modded correctly. Uh, 156 speed. Uh, he's put a, he's put two sp speed mods on uh, for health set, so he doesn't even get the speed boost. Um, and then the health boost is 5,000, which is absolutely nothing. Uh, we will run through this team like nothing. This could be a potential team that we just solo. Um, there's even a chance that Sith Trooper could probably solo this on his own uh, with how much damage that he knocks out. So yeah, so that's kind of the defence. We don't have a full seven team prediction because I'm not quite sure. I think he might put one of the offence on, on defence as well, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. The last thing we need to look at really is his fleet. So his fleet is way more advanced than ours. He's got malevolence already. Uh, he's got a Thrawn Chimera, which is annoyingly one speed faster than ours, which is our best ship. Um, and I think, I'm hoping he uses malevolence for offense. So that would rule out the droids and the geos. And then on his defense, he's going to use Chimera. And he has a good few tunes for it as well. He has the Vader ship. Uh, the Vader ship is obviously you've seen he's got three Zetas and Relic Seven, so that is maxed out. Uh, it's it's going to be fast this ship. Um, we're hoping to counter this with our own um, Kylo Ren and Mass ship, the Tie Silencer, to put some stuns on it. The one thing that he doesn't have, and I know we won't have on defense unless he puts Malevolence there, is a tank. So we're going to hold Bosk off. This Ahsoka ship, nothing too special, I don't find. And then the Anakin, he's only got it four stars, so it's not near, nowhere near its maximum potential. Uh, it's still quite fast, still has a bit of health, but and it will still hit with over 10k damage. But I think our synergy that we're going to have with uh, our ships, uh, using the TIE Silencer and our Vader ship and the Hound's Tooth will be all right. So this spy that you see as well, um, not even fully got all its Omegas on. So I'm not too worried that they're going to be on defense. I don't think Levelance will be on defense. I think he'll use that offensively. Um, but if he does put it on defense, we ain't going to get through it. Uh, we, we're we not built for that. He has got both droid ships at seven star. So they are tanky, especially that Hyena Bomber is very, very tanky. So yeah, uh, that's it for kind of like the breakdown of all the ships. Um, like I said, we are going to just go for a weak ship on defense um, and then we're going to keep all our best ones for the offense to try and break through it. Hopefully he doesn't go too hard on defense. So as you can see at this point, I was doing absolutely nothing. Um, I've had to re-record the audio because um, it actually got lost. So I know in this bit we are going to put all our stuff on defense now. So as you can see with the fleet, we were contemplating using Tarkin's ship actually for offense. I was looking at the speed stats, but then I realized that he isn't going to get his ultimate off before Thrones. So we kind of stuck to what we, we knew we used. We're going to stick to what our fleet arena team is. So we're going to put Tarkin on defense. And then we're going to put the shuttle. The shuttle on defense with, um, yeah, the TIE fighter. And then also Ghost is going to go on there with the couple of Galactic Republic ships and a Phantom at the end. Just do a little bit. Hopefully you get a couple of reinforcements. But I think, like we said, Malevolence is going to be there and it's just going to run through us. 
The first defensive teams that we're putting on then is the first one was a Bastilla lead, I believe. Or actually, no, it's the Bosque lead we've put on. So that is to draw out some of his stronger tunes. The next one we're putting on is the Bastilla lead. Uh, I believe we put her on with uh, Jolie and Ezra. It's a nice little synergy team. It holds. It, it will hopefully draw out stronger tunes from him. Um, like, like I said, the top two, I'm hoping he doesn't think he can solo any of them and he, he has to bring in at least two relics. So the bottom zones, we're putting in the Geo lead. Um, we're going to put that Geo lead in to bring out the strongest team that he's got. That is that is the bait. We, we fully expect to lose this. Uh, I've swapped in the Spy just to make him a little bit more scared um, that he's going to stealth. But this is the team I, I suspect he's going to put Vader against. And the other team we're going to put in is the Newt team. Newt lead team with the other Geos has some fact there to taunt. And that, again, is another team that hopefully this is... We're, we're hoping he has Imperial Troopers and he'll use them against that team. And then the back is where we're going to put the little kind of surprise in. So we're going to put two filler teams in really first. Uh, the first one was a Phoenix team. We we just need a burner team in there with a little bit of synergy so that if he is running low, it can hold still and they can re recuperate protection and health. The other one was a rebel team with CLS at the lead. Uh, with CLS at the lead, we've put in there as well, as you'll see when we get there. Uh, I think it was old, not old Ben, sorry, it was Farm Boy Luke and Stumpy for Ham. So, yeah, a little bit of synergy there as well with the tank. Just to just to, an easy 40k squad. Uh, and then the last one is the main boys. We're going to put Kylo Ren and Mast, Kylo Ren and Wat Tambo together. Now, the whole point of this, the whole point of this is that he has used that throne on the front row, hopefully, and he's already used his Wat Tambo. If we can make sure that them two are used before he gets to this, then we have a much greater chance of making sure he doesn't full clear us the whole point of this is that Thrawn is faster than Watt so we need him out of the way and also his Watt has got the Zeta with that composition I think that he might save Padme and the Padme team in the last Grand Arena was all relict they couldn't get through it and I checked it online and it timed out so that says to me that the Watt Tambor is putting the tank tech straight away on Kylo on Mast and then is passing uh, the other tech on to Kylo. Not sure which one they'd use, hopefully the attack tech, but it timed out anyway and they didn't lose any protection at all. They were still full and that was against Relic's Padme team. I suspect, I'm hoping the same thing happens here and that he saves it and then sees that and is like, right, I'll take in the Padme squad. The Wat Tambor will go first, put the taunt on him, and hopefully, because it'll be uh, Padme and Ahsoka and maybe maybe C-3PO, we're not sure. It could be R2. R2 will be a bit more of a worry because of his burn. We, we, we essentially want a team that won't AOE. So it's all its attacks will focus on Kylo. And my Kylo Ren is built for defense and is very, very healthy as well. He has high protection. The whole point of it is, though, to keep his protection on. The protection is what keeps the taunt on. If he loses protection, then he loses the permanent taunt. Uh, but Wat Tambor is quick anyway. Uh, I know he's low low geared and low level, but he's 220 base. So he will get the turns off. He will be able to gather protection. The Kylo Ren will be a nuisance, be putting stuns on people, uh, be putting AoEs across and everything like that. So that's where we are kind of at with this one. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy it, uh, the video for this will be coming out after. Uh, I'm just going to talk quickly on the offense team. So at the top, you can see the Vader team with Palpatine. Uh, the one below it is the mix of Empire that we've got. So Thrawn and uh, Tarkin there just for... We have them available so we can mix and match the teams accordingly to what we're going to come across in an offense, especially when we don't know what we've got so we can keep it open. The plan is that that Padme team will be saved for, I believe, I have my notes here in front of me, I think we wrote the Padme team was going to be against the Ewoks. So the plan would be the Vader lead against Geos, Ewoks against the, uh, his Ewoks with the Zetas against my Padme. And I'm going to put, again, we've got a mix of um, First Order and the we're going to put strong team against the General Grievous. And then we're going to put another team, we'll probably split the two that are Zetas up from each other we're going to put another team against the boss lead 
And then at the bottom, we've got the Revan. The Revan will go against that um, Kylo Ren team. And then whatever's left over from the top will essentially be used against Ewoks. So that is only the, well, it'd be left over Ewoks. So that essentially is what we've got available there. That was only six attempts. That was only six rather than seven teams. I am hoping that he puts stuff weaker on there so he can solo more stuff. Um, so I can team up like Palpatine uh, with Thrawn or Palpatine with Tarkin just to wipe out um, a, a pretty shoddy squad. But we we don't know what he's going to come with. That's the issue. We have no idea what he's going to come with. We are completely going in this blind. Um, I do feel like my grind for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is affecting my Grand Arena in all honesty because I am focusing on tunes that aren't as good. Like I could have focused instead of doing up a very, what in, in the grand scheme of things it will be, is a very average First Order team with all the TIE Fighter pilots and stuff like that. I could have focused instead on my Revan team stuff like that so i'm hoping we uh we get there so if you did tune in this video thank you very much and uh if you join us in a couple hours you will see the match and see whether our predictions were true so thank you very much guys